Go. Hello, good morning, Patrick Jace. And uh, I've seen a bit of an old interview on the tape there about my old fella. <coughs> talking about my old fella. About Andy Stokes cutting off his arm. That did happen. That was an accident, Patrick, that Andy done that on that day. Right? He went down because he was arguing with my nephew Barney. Big Barney. And Barney and him was arguing, old Pat and Daddy run him at the wrong time, saving his grandson, and got a blow on the arm. But the regret all they ever done for that, it broke their old heart because he got hit in an accident and a mistake. Nearly killed Danny over that. Because he, he never stopped crying until that happened. And it was an accident, and he didn't mean that. And that's how we forgive the Stokes, because we'd no argument with any of the Stokes, or the McGinley's. But up or down, anyhow. That's never heard there. Patrick, when Ollie Thornton died, and left over here and went back to, when his remains were brought back. When Patrick, when you had a bit of an old argument outside the dead house in Longford, when Patrick son, you run away and left your two poor little children, only two bits of old children, Gossens, lying in the poor old ground, and their tongue hanging out the side of their poor old jaw down into his right ear. Into his ear. Left ear. Left ear, into his left ear, Patrick son. His poor, his poor old children. You run away and left him behind you. You left your two runners in the road, the boys got them. And uh, they were too small for the rest of them, the boys wouldn't wear them anyhow. But uh, you left the two young fellas behind you. And Patrick, it was a scry in the shame, son, for what you'd done. And it's got, you run out of the Gardaí, down at the old Gardaí station, making a statement, hold on it, who did to do it? God help us, you're terrified. And the little duck egg head of you. And Patrick, Honest to God, don't you talk to Joe of a name, son, or Joe cut up anybody, or do all this one. You are doing that. You're living, in old shed. you're living in the old shed at the back of the house, and you're terrified of your life. You, you, you cut up a man years ago outside Innes, right? A lovely pal of mine, a good, good friend of mine. And the man came to me, Uncle Michael's children. But listen, you shouldn't even cut that man in the day, because you hadn't got a clue who you were. You were looking for a bit of a name, but you never got a name, or never, and you're not a torturer, or you're not, and you're not a hawker, you're not a grafter, and your sons is the same. You have two little Nancy boys there running around, right? One woman, fair play, little girl, a little model, right? right went away, and went away with a, with, a, with a cousin of my own, a man of 46, 47 years old, could, could be 50, I'm not sure he's very, 45, 40, 50 on that, right? A gentleman. Went away and took the little girl away. He gave her a big mansion of a house and a Mercedes car, brand new, for her, right, for her birthday. Now she's having a wee child from. And please God, help me God. They're fighting me to the, to the christening. I woke up that day and have a good day with them. Get drunk, bring in Brian and, and a first cousin of mine, Andy Dardy's brother. But we'll have a good day at the, at the christening. We'll have a good night. And uh, you look at the party and give it back to your little sick boys there. God help us. Now, the women walk away with the little children, there's no brain. No. Education, Patrick, is no good to your young but it's yourself. But if you had my brain, Patrick, and education, it would go on off a long road. But the dodge is, I have no education, but I have a fucking hell of a great brain. I can put on my words and pronounce them in the right place. Patrick, you can't. You haven't got a clue what you are. Now, Patrick, you can't have hearing brains, and you have no hear, or you have no brains either. <laughs> so you're fucked all together. <clears throat> Now listen a minute, forget about me and you. I don't want to see you on YouTube no more or me. Now listen for a minute, Patrick Joyce. I'm going back now to the moat choices. Just the moat choices. All them old hairy shites, just the moat. Now listen for a minute, choices. You never won a fight in your life. The Quinns bet you, we bet you, everyone bet you. You've got to shake hands and a draw. And if you look at that old afterbirth in the old cage, he's looking for a draw already with a belly out here in him. Right, like old Joe himself. Pitbull in right. the cage. Right. And he looking for a shake hands inside the cage on a draw. He, and he wasn't fighting at all. Well, call her shake hands on a draw. Joe Chase and your family, that's all you. Young Joe, one arm, Alice, as my Sammy calls him, the young king. You fixed a fight for yourself. We gave you a fight on the 1st of January, right? And you never turned up, or the 5th of January, you never turned up in Ham and Hansford with the Bumbies. And the, and, and the Navens, your own, your own people, right? You never turned up, young Joe. You picked your own time and your own date that we know nothing about. I had it fixed for the 6th of June. Before that, go back to them tapes and look at it, and you wouldn't respond to it in Apple Bay, and we'll still go back to Apple Bay coming on the 6th of June coming. And be there, Joe, and I will, Joe, listen.
get your arse into Apple Bay, you and your couple of sons, and we'll give you a few smacks again. And we'll take, we have all your names, we'll talk all your names, you never have a fight in them, and get your arse into Apple Bay, and we'll see where the fighting men ends up at the end. It's the biggest fighting fair in the whole world. It's going on four to five hundred years of bare looking fighting. I'm in it every year, year after year, for bare looking fighting. Get your arse into Apple Bay like me, like a proper man. <coughs> that does all fair bare looking fight me and me young fellas and get your arse in there you and your fucking hairy shites and listen, if you're not in there in Appleby we're going away all out to the lovely foreign country out to big swimming and listen for a minute you don't know how to cut no people you don't know how to do nothing listen, you run out of a scum and out of a scum and left left your children rough. behind your jaw like and run out of it and left potholes in Ireland for the counties that appear them and left your little boys and your own boys left you within it, right, lying off my brother in last coffin. And his grandson. And, and, and he, John's young fellas in the morning run away and left you, John, you hid under the coffin. And you all run out of the chapel and down the roads like me and every party did in Longford. And you cut bits. And you all got cut in bits. And you can't win a fight and you can't win a raw, you can't win a war battle. You know nothing about it. So listen, get off the phone to you YouTube Jaisers and YouTube mm. Patrick Jais. Get off it as well. And don't be going on these tapes and making these tapes. And and listen, the guard has enough of their hands back there looking at a crowd of... A, cr a crowd Monkey. of...